All right, uh, Dino, how much is too much when it comes to shuffling your batting order? Three captains for Pune, and they've changed the game a number of times, and still they don't get it right. Yeah, Pune should have won that, got, won that game. Look, I, I thought it was a good selection by what they've done with Finch at the captain. I thought they'd make up their team. You give them 185. Why don't Nick Stephen Smith captain? Everyone argues. No, about Finch that. has been captain in BBL. So in, has Stephen Smith. No, he hasn't. Not, not, not for the whole season. No. He, he's the far better captain, without okay. doubt, okay. Finch. But all in all, all, in all this is what you've got to do. This is how teams actually try to chase down scores over 160. Mm -hmm. They try to get the game with 20 balls to go, not to be chasing any more than 40. And right. that's what they did at um, Kings 11 so well here. Mm -hmm. And then only have no more than 15 <clears throat> runs off the last over. So they want to have 40 off 20 balls, no more than that, obviously a lot less. But then the, off the last over, they don't want to be chasing any more than 15. And they did that in this match, and they chased it down very, very, very well. 34 of 10, Luke Wright. You could be only talking about Luke Wright there, you know, <laughs> my Lancashire boy. He, where was he all this time? Well, Pune have been hiding a lot I mean, they've got a, a big squad. I mean, Ross Taylor and Angela Matthews were actually dropped, right. or they dropped themselves. I don't, I don't know what, what happened there. But Luke Wright is a terrific all-rounder, mm. and he showed his potential today. His first six balls well, were six fours. Six fours. I mean, to start... Was you it know. a chancy thing or do you think he's actually... No, no, no. He, he, he is a very... He, he sees the ball very early. He picks up the length, picks up the line. He knows exactly where the fielders are. And I think he's a, he's, he's a very, very useful one-day contender. Right, okay. Uh, Gilchrist should drop himself now or not? It's getting close. He knows it. He dropped yeah. a catch and he didn't perform. Yeah, the big fella's knocking on his door. Okay, now, now there's whether a problem. They, whether he lets him in or not okay. to say, that's it, mm -hmm. I, I don't know. But he's got a big problem. Okay, does it help that Sean Marsh flew in from Australia? Hmm. He's in the squad now. Everyone knows that, okay, they're going to be dropped. David Miller gets his second chance of the season. In the first match, he didn't perform. Yeah. And he scores out here. Now it's a problem of plenty for Adam Gilchrist. And he probably has to drop himself because Sean Marsh is a better batsman at the moment. I'd probably give it one more game. And then, then I think um, Gilly will just about might say, because it, you know, the problem was he retired last year. Let's not forget that. And once you're retired... You're always retired. That was, that was my point. Once you retire, like Ponting, yeah. you don't have much match practice. Mm -hmm. And that's very, very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if I was Adam Gilchrist, I'd do the right thing, the honourable thing rather, and drop yourself. Mm -hmm. Because, um, you know, both these other goods are, guys are good. Miller but, and, but, but Ponting's de defence here, he's been playing first-class cricket and he's our best player. Well he, yeah. he, he played really, really well. But he hasn't played, Gilly. He just hasn't played matches, you mm -hmm. know. And you're paying these guys... Millions of dollars, and right. they're not playing the game. So I, I, I find, like, Farouk and I, if we were boss of a franchise, we'd be asking him questions to say, that you, if we're going to pay you a million dollars, you've got to play more cricket, mate. Well, absolutely. This, this, this is the thing. Now, with Mumbai Indians, they didn't do much wrong, really, did they? Right. You know, but just not enough, that score. Yeah. So, just, I mean, just, just a word on the fact yeah. that this tournament has probably had the closest finishes hmm. uh, in the past six seasons of IPL. You know, we've seen about four uh, Super Overs and we've already had two of them in this season. You know, that's what 2020 is all about. No, but don't you think the quality of cricket has just gone up a, a, a notch? Not, maybe you could even say the other way, maybe gone down to. But <laughs> teams are more, more evenly balanced. I think the franchises each are, other out, huh? are buying and that's why you find more even games. And you, you will find, you will find more and more sort of final overs and all that. Right. Well, one day cricket started in 1971. Right. And it took a the world teams about 10 or 11 years to, to get it right out, yeah. to understand the mechanics of it now we've been playing t20 cricket what for now six seven eight years really hardcore now mm -hmm. so the guys are understanding when to go when to back off understanding its little nuances I mean, and that's what's happening they okay, said 2020 so. will never take off that's what they said in, yeah, they said in that england at the start. you know they should just come and watch the ipl my word has it taken off okay question for you yes put vivian richards in pune let him read the right act to them and then explain to them why they've changed three captains. It's not, it's not just reading the riot act. Why would they the, change the three guys, captains? The guys, he must have had a sensible word with them. Look here, guys. You, you've but got to believe in yourself. But doesn't have a negative effect on the entire you're team? You're a good player. Sewag, you're a brilliant batsman. You know, you should be staying. No, no. If you, if, yeah, what he will have told them three captains. was they don't do something reckless to start with. You're a class player. You get your eye in. They've been doing something daft to start He gave with. them confidence. I get that. Yeah, I'm well, saying that what, what effect does it have on the Pune players when you yeah. have three different captains leading a side in the space of eight but matches, Pazi, six matches? A mentor will only tell them to bring the, to play straight, get their eye in. You don't want your best batsman out early to play stupid shots. And that's exactly what they've been doing and paying the price for it. The fact that they've changed three captains, does it spell doom for them? Is it over? That's a huge problem. 
because they, everyone looks what they're looking at the coach now, and that's you know um, Alan Donald, and that's and that's that is a major problem with it. With that, uh, who is the boss? Yeah, can't have too many Indians. And <laughs> what's the saying? <laughs> I've absolutely stuffed hey, that up. Too many cooks spoil the broth. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call you, uh, the boss oh. of the cooks, but <laughs> thank you so oh. much for joining us. You got a point to make, sir. Go for it. Yeah, the guess there's a van in, in London uh-huh. saying, you know, something Patel and Patel, uh-huh. plumbers of great repute. Under that says, you've tried the cowboys, now try the Indians.